On this episode of Picker Road, we've got a jam-packed show for you. We are going to a sidewalk sale. It is going to be so much fun. Can't wait to see what we're going to find. And what do Elvis Presley, James Bond, and pizza have in common? Stay with us to find out later. Ooh. <laughs> As always, we're going to take you right along with us. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband, Gary, and our son, Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the world finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. This is so fun. Today is the Paradise Valley Antique Mall sidewalk sale. And I'm really looking forward to what I can find. This we, is always great. We always find good items here. And it's kind of curated, so we know that there's going to be some fun stuff. Well, let's start at the beginning. A very good place to start. <laughs> I knew that was coming. The sun, the moon, the stars. Oh, that's a pretty little table. It's only $10. Wow. Tempered glass. Let's look here. Pretty color, that amber. What is that? It almost looks like a fairy light, doesn't it? Yeah, with a little tab on it. Is it for walking? Is that like a movable fairy light? Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I wonder how much that is. It's the one thing here that doesn't seem to have a price on it. We can always ask. Okay, do you see anybody? A taller? Okay, absolutely. Oh, and look at this. I like the Christmas tree. It is made in Taiwan. I like the glass trees. Pretty flower. Oh, cat. I know. I was Kitty waiting cat. For you to see that. Kitty cat. Measuring spoons. Who makes that? Uh, Edie. It's the Bloom collection. Ah. Nice. This is uh, getting me a little excited for, for uh, Germany. Germany. Germany is happening. And oh. I said, who's that? That's the Silver Knights, the Golden Knights AHL team. Okay. Pottery. Elephant. Elephant, uh huh. Shall All we right. keep going? Well, I think I will hand this to Gary. And uh, we're going to have to maybe get some bubble wrap deal going here because I don't want that to clink. I like this sign down here. What do you say? Flea market. Oh, I do too. That's fun. Mm hmm. Look at the sand art down there. Let's take a look at that. It's twenty five dollars. It's a little little rough there, but and it doesn't have the glass on it. Let's see, we have a a lot of Halloween things theming up here. Look at those mugs; those are fun. Mm -hmm. And these are for Ouija boards, aren't they? I think so. It says Ouija, yeah. Yes. Then we have Halloween. All right, let's look over here. Ooh, Julie. Good morning. Oh, look at that. Very pretty. Oh, and look at that. That's a famous painting. I've seen that before. Oh, it's for photos. It's a little photo holder. Oh, my goodness. So if you don't have them on your phone, you could have them in here. Very sweet. Oh, look at the rings. Isn't that nice the way they're displayed? Mm-hmm. In there. There's another one of those. I like the clothes hangers for, for uh, earrings. Oh, those That's are funny. so funny. I've never seen that before. That's really cute. Here they are right here. That's really cute. Really sweet. This looks like an old... These are older pieces. Very kind of... Hollywood Regency. And I've seen this. I love displaying 
jewelry on mannequins like this. Mm -hmm. Just lovely. All right, let's keep going. How much is the hen on nest? The hen on nest is 15. Oh, and look at the beadwork on that. That's quite impressive. A lot of work, a lot of work. That's right, we got let's, new stuff coming out. Let's give her a chance to get out. We don't want to be in the way. <laughs> Let's see. Got all sorts of goodies going here. Isn't that pretty? Is that a wall pocket? It is. Ten dollars Noritake wall pocket. The ship on there. Wish it was all birds. It's, oh, these are pretty though. Look at these. Twenty for the set. Handmade in Japan. Very pretty. Do you see what I'm seeing? What, what, what? Unicorn. Oh, no. But that's not a unidunkey. I guess we could put it up on the other side of the <laughs> <laughs> They might think we're a bit obsessed, though. What do you see in there? I'm just looking at the jewelry. This is very interesting. It's lighter than loose side. It looks old. And it's like comic book. It's, is that... I'm trying to see, is that Spider-Man? I don't know, here, I think it's Spawn. Ah. What does that say Spawn in there? Hmm. Interesting. Very different. Very different looking. Oh, there, do you see that one? That's very Dick Tracy-y looking. Yes. You know, and what is this one? Just a pair of legs. Very interesting. All right. What is this tin? Looks like... It's a um, oh, Swiss? Swiss. Oh, look at that dog. He's so cute. Aw. Little dachshund. Aw, too bad he's got a boo-boo on his, on his toe. He's very sweet. Nice weight to him, too. Too bad, boo-boo. Little spoons. What does that say? Tea towel. And that is yellow Tuscany made in China. Look at this lamp. It's nice for a den. Let's see what else we have here. Hey, Seattle. All right. We've been there. <laughs> we have some prints down there. Let's see. Look at that. That's an old scoop. The handles, the green is wearing off a little bit. Oh, look at you. He's a hoot. He is a hoot. He's great. $10. Marianne Leahy. Vintage. Well, think about him, actually. Uh, that hoot lost his head. Aww. All right. Let's look down here. What is that? Is that from, like, muffins? Mm. Oh, my goodness, that's heavy. They want, Solid cast iron. They want $40 for that. All right. What are these posters? Let's see. You tell me. What is Nevada it? Nevada Pioneer Territory. That's vintage. Look at the... Um, the old um, car. It's kind of oh, like a uh, vacation. Go close. Yeah. Like, you know, the road trip vacation of cars. When I was growing up, we had a station wagon. Yeah. It was so fun. Hmm. All right. Should we keep going? Let's do it. Is the psychic now available? Cash only. <laughs> That's pretty funny. How much is that? It's $2. It's really funny. It is. What do we have? You can be a psychic today, just all you need is a sign. Exactly we right. saw that. <laughs> okay, so we've got lots of vintage kitchenware and all sorts of goodies like that. Let's go over here. That sun is super bright. Look at all the dolphins. Mm -hmm. Somebody like dolphins. <laughs> all the shells it took to make that. Mm -hmm. $22 on that one. And let's see what else. That's an old box. Look at that. It looks like maybe Washington State or twenty dollars on that. What is this piece? I think what does that's that say down there? A handmade in Indonesia. Hmm. And oh, look at that. It's a, that oh yeah, corkscrew. Corkscrew. Of the fifteen. There. I'll sell all of them together and be done with it for you. And we've got a lot of collectible bottles here and so forth. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Very well. 
Oh, look, 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 look. look what at do the you castle. see? I love the Disney castle. Line. Oh, is that Neuschweinstein? No, 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 that's Disney. Just Disney. But, of course, Disney took his inspiration from Neuschweinstein. That's beautiful. Look at these. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. It's mother of pearl and turquoise. It looks like it's set in sterling What's the silver. What's on the back? It is 925 mm. sterling. That's very pretty. And it can be a pin or a pendant. Isn't that lovely? It is. I wonder how much that is. Let's ask Find about out. that. I don't see any price. Let me see what else we have. A hummingbird. Isn't that beautiful? Very pretty. And that is another. Now that's not silver. All right. Beautiful. And that is a hand to Gary. I love this bee. Oh, that's really fun. Isn't that too fun? Oh. All right. Let's... Looks like we got a lot of Funko Pops here. Do I take a look at that? That's you. All right. The Star Trek ones. Okay. Let's see. It kind of shows you just how many Funkos they make now. Look at this. There really are. There's just so many of them. Oh, they're so fun. It was so funny. Earlier this year when I was at Orlando Airport uh -huh. waiting for my best friend Tyler to fly in, um, it's right next to Disney World, so every single person there had a lounge fly on their back. <laughs> These are so cute. I know they, they look like they should be for a little girl, but I love it. It's so fun. Really, really cute. You don't have Pete's Dragon, do you? I don't, I don't think so. This is all I have. So nice. So sorry. There's, no, they're so fun. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie. If you open the door, it's a little owl. Oh, oh my goodness. I love the little features that. Yes, look at that. That's cute. That's so cute. Adds to their bags. So fun. Oh, look at that. That nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> McDonald's. That, one, that one's Harry Potter. And of course, Dalmatians. Aww. Love it. Looks like we have some vintage toys. That's a vintage Mickey. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cinderella, boy. Cinderella. And Pooh Bear again. Look at the mad tea party. Mm -hmm. That looks old. We have Woody. Voiced by Tom Hanks, of course. And you know the interesting thing? Uh -huh. You know, Tom Hanks has a twin brother who looks and sounds just like him. Uh -huh. And when they need to do additional dialogue, like for the video games or for promo spots, uh -huh. his brother actually does all that stuff. How convenient. <laughs> he can have a day off. Oh, Bambi. That's old. It is very old. I love Bambi. That's sweet. And Galactica. Woody Woodpecker. Is that Battlestar Galactica? Hmm. I wonder if Jane is on it anywhere. Oh, look, the films of Marilyn Monroe. Oh, beautiful. Seven Year Itch, of course. The famous dress. We were at the Hollywood auction. And that was auctioned off. What mm -hmm. was it? Five million dollars? It's something like that. Absolutely crazy. She was an original. Hmm. All right. Do we have some vinyls underneath? Let me see. Yeah, it's all Meryl Meryl stuff. There's oh, tons oh. of uh, calendars, books. Oh, calendars. Okay. Oh, yeah. They've never been opened. You know, they're still shrink wrapped and everything else. My nice. goodness. How much is the Pocahontas uh, sell? Uh, two bucks. And, oh, it's the glass it's, is broken. The, the frame's got a little bit yeah. yeah. That's why. Edition. Um, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll, I'll I'll grab that for ten. All right. I figured somebody would still be interested in it. Thank you. What do you see? I'm looking at the car. That's cars. The trains. And oh, look at that! That's such an old postcard, or card. That's interesting because that would be nice to actually have to put in frames, mm -hmm. you know, little pieces like this. I like this. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That's kind of like you when you were a kid, right? Well, yeah. When I was a teenager, I had a Harlequin Great Dane. She was quite something. And she pretty much pulled me like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else. The Lone Ranger. Oh, that's a lunchbox. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? I want to see what we got in here. It looks like some ephemera. Okay. Let's take a look. 1948. Look at oh. that. That is so cool. 1953. I love vintage advertising like this. Wow. What's 56? 51. These are amazing. It's like Norman Rockwell. Uh huh. Very much. Look oh, the patches. Wow. Let's see. From Tang. Oh my goodness. Commemorative patches. Just like they brought on there. Apollo 11. And, and Skylab, Skylab 1. First U.S. space station. Hmm. Seasons Greetings, 1958. Let's see what else. How much are the uh, space patches? Uh, I think those came with the melon. The sand paper with it. Uh huh. That's all one thing. Mm -hmm. you, you flip it over, and you'll see the back of it. It was a mail away. Yes. Uh, yes. And uh, for the whole thing, is twenty bucks. Twenty. Very cool. Oh, oh look, look at that. This. We met Rico Browning, uh -huh. who was the uh, the body man for uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon at an event in Hollywood that he did. Do you know he was also the underwater aquatic director for the movie Thunderball with Sean Connery because he was so good underwater. He could swim as the uh, fish man, but he also directed all the scenes with James Bond underwater. It harkens a little bit to Guillermo del Toro's yes, he The was Shape of Water and, of course, Doug Jones. Completely inspired by it. And then we have Bela Lugosi. Mm-hmm. Look at the spider webs, just in time for Halloween. I think the making of the 1931 Dracula mm -hmm. is such a fascinating story because, you know, they made two movies at the same time. Did they? So during the day, they filmed Bela Lugosi's Dracula in English. Mm -hmm. And then every night they would reset all the sets and they would bring in a crew of Hispanic actors and they would film it in Spanish because they were oh. doing an experiment in 1931 to do uh, films for Latin American cinema as well. So they would do the exact same scenes, the exact same dialogue, just in English and Spanish the same day. Wow, that is very interesting. I like these. These are cards, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, nobody's, nobody's perfect. perfect. <laughs> and uh, they're from, now this one I had a date on it, 1973. So I assume that they're both in that era. But those are great. Mm -hmm. Those are those are a lot of fun. Let's put them back in here, nice and neat. If this is, one is is there another one? I, it's a wonder there's not a Frankenstein. Uh, what do you want to bet? Let's see what we have. King Kong. <laughs> King Kong. What does it say inside that one? Okay, you ready? They're all fossil watches. Don't ever let me go, <laughs> you great big gorilla. Aww. that's so funny. And, and another. That's Mighty Joe Young, I think, right? I don't know. I Aww. go ape over you. <laughs> Very fun. Those are great. Those are fun. I'd love to know how much they are. How much are the, um, cards. the, the monster cards? These guys? Uh, I'd do five bucks a piece on those. A piece? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. All right, what else we have? We have Wally Coyote and Roadrunner. Neat, neat. Shogun Warriors. Uh, it looks like some comic book pages. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Loose pages. The Penguin. Hmm. Uh, very All good. Right. Nice, nice book of ephemera. Really fun ephemera. Really. Dating back pretty oh, far, too. Look at this. What do you say? It's an original Etch-a-Sketch. New. I love those. New in the box. Wow. That's so much fun. Very good. We have some co old costumes. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, Scooby where are you? And the Empire Strikes Back. And Zorro. Oh, that's heavy. Is that real porcelain? Uh, it feels like it. Hmm. Is this a repop or real? That's real. That's real? Yep. That's 200 on that. 200? That's very cool. Uh, Zorro, Hollywood, California. Love it. Isn't that cool? How much you ask on the Disneyland tray? Uh, like 65, 70 bucks on one of those. Look at that. Look at how early that is in the park history. Can, okay, so you still have yeah, that's, that's early, yeah. 
Cinderella's castle. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, Cinder of course it's still there. It's, but I'm saying, look at how early everything is. Especially on the right. Right there. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing developed nothing yet. Nothing built. <laughs> yeah. I think, what, this is what, 55? Yes. So I think that's like from 56, I think. Yeah, it looks, looks like it. Yeah. Neat. I remember these little books. My mom had books like this. The Vampire. That is so funny. Oh my goodness. How much are your little books? Um, the whole set is a hundred. The whole set? Yeah. I had them up for you, so that's a fair. I'm sure. I'm, my mom had so many of these. I don't know whatever happened to those. Mm. These crystals. Isn't that beautiful? A gorgeous. So smooth and cold, of course. Some Mickey and all this I make. It's my oh, oh how Thank lovely! You. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. What is this with the horse? I wonder what that is for. It's obviously to hold something. I love the I horse. We were debating ourselves. What would that? What is that? Yeah. I I don't think it's spoons. Hmm. Hmm. It's interesting because they're not just books, they're the little books. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah. Look at that little... Oh, upside down. It's a horse. Of course, of course. Is that, is that Bosom? On the one. bottom? Anne of Green Gables. Let's see what else we have. Look at this little votive. Look at the face in there. Yeah, that's that cool. is quite something, actually. Do you know who makes this? No idea. You have no idea. Do you, do you see the face in there? I do. There's a face in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Gary, do you have some um, toweling deal in there? Bubble wrap. Now, that's Starbucks there, but mm -hmm. it's not a travel one. So, this is their. Looks older. Their vintage Pike Place logo. And you have some McDonald's. I guess they had mugs in the early days. Mm. We have one of these little egg coddlers. Just sold one in our tiny treasures. Yes, indeed. Some Pyrex, it looks like. Ooh, tiki. Ah. Let's see. Those are kind of nice. All right, we're going to take a quick look through the jewelry. Look at that. It looks like a little bit of peridot action going there on this little locket. Very pretty. Pretty little piece. How much? How much is your jewelry? It's all different prices. How much is that piece? The locket. That one is seven. Seven. Okay. Let's see what we have. Oh, look at that. that's an old brocade purse. And <laughs> welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, blue side bug. Let's see. Oh, look at these little guys. Now, why? Why is there more than three? That one just is thinking about it. I mm -hmm. guess. Look at the owl. Oh, yeah, we've seen it's that very, before. Very, I've sold that before. Oh, I like this pen. Isn't that fun? I like that pen. Mm -hmm. I can ask how much that one is. Let's see. Who does that say in there? If I may? Yes. It says Joan Rivers. Uh-huh. So I think I might ask about these and that one. Oh, I like those. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. And what is this? This piece here. I don't believe that is amber. Do you want to shine your light on that real quick? The glass. Yeah. Check glass. Uh huh. Yeah, they don't glow, so they're not. How much are the pens? The old enamel, and I think this is signed. Uh, this one is signed. I can't remember what it Joan is. Rivers. Joan Rivers. Oh, the Joan Rivers. So I want 30 for it all. 30? Yeah. Let's see what else we have. What are these? Just little pieces of, pieces of things. Those oh. Are made at, oh, look at know, these. These uh, are pretty. These are pretty. The colors, a little heavy, but I do like the colors. Look at the rings in here. Oh, look at that. Is that a Druzy stone? Can you hold that up, Will? Right here. Oh, my goodness. What is going on here? Look at that piece. 
That's kind of amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That druzy stone. And those stones on the side. And looking at that piece. Um, and look at this. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that big pink. Big pink stone. This piece, though, is kind of fun. It's kind of big, but fun. Um, what else do I see? That piece is really pretty. All right, let me ask. That's... How much are your rings over here? The different rings? Oh, okay. Now, these are all in here are, for the most part, all silver and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, designer, whatever. So, so which one were you looking at? The Mexican one? The, right, the that amethyst. one. So this one is 25. That's 25. Sterling, yeah, and, and real gemstones. Maybe if I do a grouping, we yeah, can yeah, get yeah. a little better yeah. price. All right, so let's, I, I'm go, moving along okay, here. I'm moving along here. Let's see what else we have. Ooh. We have I, was a waiting, I was waiting for you to see that. The seagull? Yep. It's lighter than I thought. I believe it's Mexican tunes where it has a necklace. Uh-huh. It's sterling. And that one's 30. Mm -hmm. 30. Look at that. I like that piece. Oh, you with them? Oh, okay. I'm making sure you pick it out. And look it's, at this. Oh, I was going to say very Aztec looking. It is. Marked Mexico there. I like the little. It's um like a cloisonne going on here. Pretty pieces, you know. That's pretty. That's not real. Let's see. That is very small. Interesting. That's an old piece. It's nice. Let's see what we have here. Well, these are just some more costume. <laughs> That's a zebra. Obviously, I'm trying to see what we have. Oh, I like the fish. The fish is cool. Very cool. What else do we have here? Now we get into some glass. Oh, look at this little trinket box. Little Monet trinket box. That is so sweet. Let me see if I can put my, my little treasures down here for a moment. And let's see. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. It's adorable. Let me see how she's asking for that. And the butterfly. Sounds like there's a little something in there. A little uh, butterfly, another, of course. Another butterfly. I like I like this one, though. Let's see what we have. What is that? That is a deck of tarot cards. Oh, how much are those? I don't know. I know you've done well with those in the past. I do, but I think I'll pass on that right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Mm, no, I don't like the base. little enamel bell. You have her, yep. or similar to her. She's Gans, right? She is. 1984. Let's see what else. What is this? Oh, isn't that that stone? Oh, this is the um, the stone that we have. We got it in Pasadena Antique Mall. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, ammonite. Ammonite. There we go. Ammonite. Look at the carved shell with the parrot on it. It's beautiful. My goodness, can you imagine how hard it is to do that? Yeah. Too bad it's got a chip on the top. This looks like scrimshaw. It's like a little scrimshaw piece. All right, so let's keep going with my jewelry in my hand. Let's see what else we've got here. Got some purses. And a little, we have that fabulous um, antique Chinese basket at picaro.com right now. All right. Well, why don't we see what we can do? All right, so I paid uh, about $75 for this bag of exquisite jewelry. You added a couple of pieces too, I right? did. Sterling silver yeah. ring. This is a sterling silver ring with peridot. And look at this Murano. Isn't that incredible? Oh, that's amazing. And then I went ahead and picked up those tiki mugs for $5. All right. So we've got some good things. And I did also get this little Monet tea set. It's so Monet Trinket and it books. doesn't even know it. Isn't that beautiful? It just reminded me of something so elegant. Is that? Oh, I thought that was paint on velvet at first, but that is an original painting. 
Isn't that lovely? That is nice. Very nice. Very lovely. Let's see what else we have. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing well. Ooh. What do you see? Acting with an accent. Italian. Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, let's look at the earrings over here because I can never get enough jewelry. Actually, on the way to the earrings, I just want to look at this little trivet. Oh, that's heavy. Hmm. Sunflower. It's an interesting piece. A little bent, unfortunately. Okay, what do we have here? We have all sorts of earrings. Those are pretty. <laughs> Look at those. Those are cute. Are those foxes or cats? One's a cat, one's a fox. Oh, no, I mean one's a raccoon. Ah. Oh, look at this. This bird plates. Made in Japan. Oh, look at this. I love enamel wear. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Pretty piece of enamel in blue. Let's see what else we have. Oh, look at these little tiny beadwork dolls. Look like they're South American, don't they? Mm-hmm. And vintage T-shirts, five dollars each. They don't have any eagles, do they? Oh, right. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I like that display. The closet next door. That is so fun. Nice. Hello. Hi. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I do it's very well much. Done. I, I like do. Your... I do that Scrabble art too. I like these too. Yeah, I made it. I was at my mom's house yesterday and I finished it. Yeah, nice. it's it's great. Really nice. And what are the necklaces? Pretty necklaces. Oh, look at that. That's fancy. My mom used to shop on like HSN like 20 years ago. And they're all like the old Suzanne Summers pieces. Mm. Those are pretty. Yeah. She, has, she bought, and they all like went on clearance. She bought like so many of each one. And how much is that? 25 and 25 she has the this one has the um, cord on the back too oh my goodness so you have different things very very pretty who makes oh, this? Silver. It is Suzanne Summers. Oh, it is Suzanne Summers. Though it is hers. Really nice. And how much is this one? Same. Same. Really nice. So I found this beautiful piece of stained glass. It is made by. Um, I mean, it it does say Elsie. Uh, Tiffany, it's spring. It's the Tiffany window, mm -hmm. um, and it's made by a company. Uh, it says made in Canada in exactly. 1993, so that's true vintage. Exactly, and there it's you can hang it with a little chain. Absolutely gorgeous. You could also just set it in a window mm -hmm. if you didn't want to hang it. But look at the colors. I'm going to hold it up. up. Get into the sunlight. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that exquisite? Yes. I'm, I like that it's got the trees and the palm trees. <laughs> I know. I'm in love with Tiffany. So even a little a piece like this that's a tribute to it mm -hmm. uh, is gorgeous to me. So that is going in the car. You know, we heard that McManus Auctions uh, recently took over the Paradise Valley Antique Mall. So we want to give it a check out. It's been great out here. Let's see what we can get inside. I'm always enjoying visits here. There's always fun treasures to find. And there's such a wide variety, just like our booths in Antique Alley. Always. 50% off booth closing sale. Oh, well, I'm glad they have a percentage off. I always hate to see somebody closing, but maybe they're just moving. Oh, we have just a little sand painting. I don't like the color of the frame, though. I guess that could be changed. We have a beautiful Japanese vase. They want 40 for that. Of course, so everything would be 50% off. So let's look for glow glass. Absolutely. We're on the hunt. Isn't that pretty? Look at that piece. It's 38. And what are those? Vintage pair of Art Deco peacocks. Goodness. Let's see what we have. Oh, he's oh got this looks like Stengel. He's got the flashlight out. 
It is Stengel, of course, but it's got a big chip. As is. Oh, I see. That's interesting. I've seen this style piece before. It's a modern piece. Looks like Jim Carrey's going to do something with it. The mask. Smoking. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a John Perry back there. Oh, these, oh, these are boxes. I thought they were salt and peppers. Little boxes. Another John Perry. Let's see. Oh, that's fun. Red light, red light, go. Oh, look, we're seeing unicorns today, aren't it's a we? Unicorn kind of day. It is. And these are that older speckle. $12 on that. Oh, uh, he's fun. Oh, it's um, from a, a place in Mexico, it looks like. All right, like. you got it? I've got it. All right. That's, I believe that'd be for like wine. Oh, do you see this is treasure craft? Which one? This. Oh, look that's at that. It's a cookie jar. Oh, that's fantastic. Really fun. Really fantastic. Of course, you see treasure craft and you think of George the Antique Nomad. He literally wrote the book. Absolutely. Look at the art up here. Ah. Look at the rainbow. That's so 70s. Are those real butterflies? Where are they? I don't think so. I don't think they are. No, they're too yeah. symmetrically perfect. Oh, look at that. I've never seen them do a de Grazia in needlepoint. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't, this, unfortunately, there's a little stain yeah. in there. Oh, uh, let's see what else do we have. Look at that needlepoint done in 1994. Got this piece, very French. And another de Grazia up there. Oh, really? And there again, that's plastic. Oh, look at the owl. I didn't see Made in Turkey. He's a hoot. He is a hoot. He's a great hoot. He's made in Turkey, so he'd be seven fifty. Let's see if he's well right there. That worries me right there. Oh. I'm so I drive myself crazy. I just want it to be perfect. And if it's not, then I'll explain why I'm getting it, because it's so rare that uh, it's worth overlooking. Looks like a Fostoria bowl. Oh, there we go. I thought it was maybe a fairy lamp at first. Is that Duck La Vie? Probably. I'm going to look it up real quick. That might be La Vie. Okay, so it is not La Vie. It's Farberware, and it's $36, so half off would be 18 and it sells for around 19 So we're right on the money. It's like a shelf was created for me. Mm. First of all, look over here. We've got all <laughs> these wonderful vintage Star Trek action figures. So let me see if I can do it. Captain Kirk, mm -hmm. um, don't just Spock, um, Scotty, and Sulu. Yes, Of course indeed. I can do it. Um, the thing that's cool about these is you see the outfits they're wearing. Mm -hmm. Those are the early, early velour ones from like the first few episodes before they got the more signature vibrant colors. Mm. Gene Roddenberry saw the first few episodes and saw how they were filming and said, no, the future needs to be brighter, more color. Mm. But then right next to it, look at this. You all have heard me talk on the channel ad nauseum, but I will talk about it for the rest of my life. My dear grandmother, Eileen, your mother, my mom, worked on this plane. She worked for Grumman uh, at the Beth Page Long Island facility in New York during World she War II. She was an aeronautical engineer. She was the only woman in the department. She helped design numerous aspects of this plane. And with her actual bare hands, not using computers, not using models, she drew the most accurate life drawings of these planes and they were put in manuals inside the cockpit so that if a pilot had to land they were exploded diagrams they could take parts of the plane apart and rebuild them and then take off again the work that she did was just stunning absolutely this is a beautiful print they're asking 65 for it uh that would be a real treasure in any collection i asked you if you wanted it and you want a color I, I would love to find a color you know one of those great color paintings of a, of a hellcat oh. but hellcat of course you know is the name of our production company we named it in her honor so many fun things in this particular booth to look at i'm looking down here at all the beautiful items so much to look at and i noticed in here little neiman marcus frame and it's by jay strongwater 
who of course did that fabulous giraffe frame that we have for sale. His work is very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So I'm going to get this. Uh, be beautiful for picaro.com. We have a, looks like Fabergé. Guessing it's not. Look at this little snuff bottle with the horses. That's 39. And I saw these earrings. Look at these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? Those are sterling. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely going to pick these up. And look at these little, little bottles. Don't know what they're going for there. They definitely look like Tanala. We have some bears and beautiful little trinket dish made in Japan. $16.50. Little birds on it. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of owls, aren't we? It's an owl kind of day. It really is. I want to move around to the side and see what else we find. Look at the Monet. Oh. A little Christmas trinket box. And it's a Monet kind of day also, isn't it? Collectible box. Let's see what that looks like. Little little Monet box. What is that? It's a Russ purse frame. Oh, that's cute. I, I really like that. That's nice. I'm thinking I might get that, and I might uh, I might just put a photo in there of that time Rody was on the red carpet at the Met Gala. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hand-painted. Oh, look at the little cat. Patience. Patience. It's, it's a Seymour, Seymour man. man. And why is there a hole in there? It's not a bank, is, is it? Is it a firing hole? Maybe. Just a firing hole. And a little clock. Well, I don't like the clock aspect because if it, for any reason it doesn't work, that could be a problem. Let's see what else. Oh, look at these little vintage salt and peppers. They are so cute. What does it say on there? Patent uh, something. Patent number. Those are so cute. Aww. They're very sweet. Let's walk, walk around here. Looks like we got Christmas Village. Oh, yeah. And some Hello Kitty. Oh, look at the Spode. A little oh. Spode trivet. It's got some wear on it. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. Then look around here. Oh, it's just the right shoe. And uh, a little perfume bottle there. Is that what that is? A little sweet perfume bottle. A tiny, tiny little dragonfly. Oh my goodness. That is so small. That's not a tiny treasure. That's a min microscope treasure. Really? All right. Well, let's keep going. Well, this booth is always fun to visit because... It is... 50% off anything with the green X. Let's see what we can find. Absolutely. Now, we, we sold a Shawnee. It's a little Shawnee kitty cat. There we are. Patent Puss in Boots. Uh, and let's see what it says. Shawnee Puss in Boots Creamer 25. So sweet. So to demonstrate, mm -hmm. right here, you see this black bowl has a green X on it. So that would be... $8.50. There you go. Excuse me, $9.50. Uh, yes. What do we have? I'm looking. Well, we have to look high. We have to look low. Look at that laundry, old laundry sign. That looks like it's original. $16 laundry room. Oh, I've seen these. These turtle um, grates. Uh-huh. $22 old brass grater. $22. I've absolutely seen those. All right, let's keep looking. All the stuff I want is not on sale, but let's keep going. Let's see what we have in here. Um, a little mailbox. And let's see if we see. We're looking for green X's. Green X's. There's some in there. By that little bracelet. And of course, there we have. Um, that Which necklace, one is on sale? Uh, it says hand blown and it's silver over. glass necklace. So I think it would be the glass one, obviously. Right. And that one's twelve twenty-five. Yes, we're gonna have to get that out of there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna absolutely have to get that. We have a a beautiful Roseville. Bowl, Roseville. Oh, the little kitties are still here. I love that one. They're so cool. Sweet little kitty cats. He's a hoot. He is a hoot. They're a hoot. Remember, we've sold that very similar to that. And Tracy, do you see what is that little bowl back there? That's 
got an X on it. Iridescent for sure. Uh huh. Oh, I can look at it in the mirror. Look at me. Very well done. Well designed. Right. I might have might take a closer look at that. Oh, look at that. That's an, like an arm bracelet. I'm gonna see if we can get that out of there. And let's look at what other jewelry they have. The hoots. This is an old flower frog, a Roseville flower frog. That's that's a nice piece. Okay, tell me if you see anything. Look at that. That is such an interesting piece. It really is. I don't think that is on sale, though. I'm looking. Uh, look at these earrings. Handcrafted pink stone earrings. Those are pretty. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? I'm looking for the green marks. It doesn't have to be. Down there. It does. I have. Well, it's, it's fun because it's like a treasure hunt when it you come is. into this booth. It is. Oh, there's green on that. I want to check that piece out. You know what? Absolutely. I'm going to have him get the keys. And is that a gerbil ball? <laughs> what does that mean? You mean to put a gerbil in it? Yes. Or a hamster? Maybe. Wow. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, ask them to bring the keys over to open the cases. I think that sounds like a good idea. I just want to take a look at this Roseville. The Bushberry Double. Isn't that interesting? It is. Really nice. 125. And this is... A light colored necklace. And let's see what else we have. I'm looking down here. I saw it and now I have to re see it. Yep. And these are um, costume gold. Um, I don't think I'll do that I believe one. You were looking at the green X's right there. I was, and I was looking at this. Mm -hmm. what I was is that? very interested in what this was. This is. Oh, it's a bracelet. And let's see. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. How how Carmen Miranda is that? Uh -huh. And what is it? It is, so it was um, 13? 13, so it's 650. 650. Do you think people would wear that now, though? You know, I think it's really interesting. You like it? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get that. And uh, what do we have here? We have just some old tools. I don't know how much these are selling these days. Let's see the price on those. That's 25. Oh, look at that piece. That's 25. That's, that's for pastry making. Mm -hmm. That's an older piece. Okay, I'm gonna let that one. Okay, what else was I looking at? Oh, these guys. These guys, um, they were 95. All right, and what else did I see in here? I know I saw more than just one thing. This is here. Handcrafted loft necklace. Mm -hmm. I saw that. I know. I, I thought I saw something more in this area. Am I missing something? Yeah. She's seven fifty. Mm -hmm. Not doing too many figures. Oh, right there, that one in the back. With... This? No, I don't think that's what I was seeing. And what is this right here? Is that this just one? a little candle holder? What does it say there? I can't see in the light. What is this? It's heavy, and it is, it was 100, I think. Mm -hmm. So you got it? I do. Okay. I, I guess that was it from this cabinet. Shall we open the other cabinet? There's a black bower bowl there. Okay, let's go to the other cabinet. What do we have? Oh, I, we saw this necklace. And then I was interested in this set here. Let's see what this says. It's necklace and it's crystal and earrings. Could be seventeen fifty. Right. Um, Does it say goes with? Oh yeah. Well, it says set. Oh, there you Doesn't go. Doesn't it? It says earrings. Yes. So those are the earrings, oh. right? Yes. I don't. That's so sure. But what do you? Do you have any thoughts? This is really your department. I know. I know it. I know. It. I think I might pass on that. Um, at that guy. What else did I see in here? You we really we saw all this stuff. The other side, I think. Was it the other side? We have this little cobalt bottle. We have a lot of bottles. Okay, let's look at the other side. What With do you see? There. What do you look oh, at? Oh, it's not half off though. Okay. All right, let's look at this side. All right, great. Thank you so much for doing this, sir. Now, what is it I saw over here? Uh, 
you saw. And I saw something. You want to look at that armband? Oh yes. Look at that. That is so How cool. How Cleopatra is that? Right? You see Elizabeth Taylor wearing that. Exactly. It's Golden. two dollars and fifty cents. Absolutely. I think so. All day long. Oh, that bowl. There you go. I knew there was something. Let's see what this bowl is doing here. Let's see what this bowl is all about. That's that beautiful lusterware. It is twenty-five dollars. Cowan blue bowl. Um, so that'd be like twelve fifty. I don't know. Who do you think? I'm, I'm kind of torn on that one. Got a one. lot of lusterware right now. I do, I do. So if I wanted to see it, I couldn't quite see it. I love these guys. I see them every time we come here. And look at this Roseville frog. So cool. Is that a repair? Yeah. Oh. A little bit of a repair there. Okay. I don't want to keep the gentleman any longer. Do you see anything else that we were interested in, Will? I think that was it. Is that it for here? Look at this bird. He's very brutalist. Look at his feet and everything. Isn't he great? Mm -hmm. All right. He is a yes. And look what uh, little Gary found. Gary. <laughs> That's $8. Yay, Gary. We got it. Where did you get that from? Right here. Right here. All right. Oh, so we found these beautiful little crackle vases yeah. that glow, and Gary is so, so happy. He's just thrilled with the colors. They're just beautiful. So we are absolutely picking up all four of them. Yeah. All right, our last item. I picked up this lovely little Lennox pumpkin. Isn't this perfect for Halloween? So cute. You can put a tea light in there. She gave me a really good price on it. I just had to do it. So that'll be on PickerRoad.com. There you go. After an amazing day of picking with so many fantastic finds and huge profits, we are heading to the Westgate Las Vegas for a delicious lunch. Now, the Westgate has a fascinating history. This is where, as the International Hotel, Elvis Presley broke records with his concert residency. It's also the hotel that was featured in the James Bond film Diamonds Are Forever. Sean Connery scales the side of it to get into the penthouse. Isn't that cool? Now today, we're heading to a brand new pizza parlor that just opened up in the sports book, which for the longest time was the largest sports book in Las Vegas. It's so much fun to grab a hot pizza and a cold salad and check out all the amazing games that are playing around the world. All right, well, we enjoy this pizza, salad, and some delicious cookies. Let's recap all of today's amazing finds.
Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you always know when an episode premieres. Also, please check out PickerRoad.com where you can purchase many of the fun items we've found on our adventures. And don't forget, you can now support my father Gary on his quest to get a muscle car using nothing but glowy glass. Lastly, please leave a comment. We read all of them and we love interacting with you because we always want you to join the journey.